Welcome back to Cooking by the Book. Today we are cooking from The Cooking Gene. This is a food memoir by Michael W. Twitty, a culinary historian who uses this book to take us through his personal journey of searching for his ancestral culinary history. Along the way, we learn a lot about the history of Southern food, and he gives us several delicious recipes. Today, we are making the black eyed pea hummus. Let's get started. For black eyed pea hummus, we will need one 15 ounce can plain black eyed peas, rinsed and drained, preferably organic. One quarter cup extra virgin olive oil, plus more for drizzling. One third cup sesame seed paste, also called tahini. One half cup freshly squeezed lemon juice, one tablespoon preserved lemon juice brine, or one and a half teaspoons kosher salt, four garlic cloves, minced or roughly chopped, one teaspoon mild or smoked ground paprika, reserve some for garnish, a half a teaspoon ground cumin, a half a teaspoon ground coriander, a half a teaspoon chili powder, one teaspoon brown sugar or raw sugar, one teaspoon hot sauce, two tablespoons of minced fresh parsley, flat leaf preferred for garnish, and one tablespoon of sesame seeds for garnish. To begin, we're going to pulse our black eyed peas in a food processor until they're the texture that you want. You may need to pause to scrape the sides down. Next, we're going to whisk together our tahini and our olive oil. Once that's well combined, we're going to put our black eyed peas and our tahini mixture into a larger mixing bowl and stir until well combined. Next, we're gonna add in our lemon juice. Our salt. Hot sauce. Sugar. Garlic. chili powder, paprika, coriander, and cumin. And again, we'll stir until it's well combined. Once 
Once it's all well combined, we'll pour it in a serving bowl and add our garnishes. We have some paprika. Some sesame seeds. And some flat leaf parsley. And we're ready to serve with our favorite chips or veggies. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking by the Book, and we'll see you next time.